welcome back to civil engineers youtube channel in this practical video i will guide you for steel reinforcement details in the construction of this rcc slab with floor beam here we have some common big mistakes in the construction of this steel structure design so let me guide you for those common big mistakes if you see guys here they provided extra steel rods at the distance of l by 4 in this floor beam but on the top of this they provided steel reinforcement with the spacing of 6 by 6 inches but you can see guys at the distance of l by 4 they provided lapping length so which is not allowed at the distance of l by 4 so this is one of the big mistake that's why because this is the place to provide crank bar or extra steel rods instead of extra steel rods or crank bar to resist negative bending moment they already provided lapping length which is very dangerous at the distance of l by 4 because here we have more chances of cracks if you see guys the floor beam size is 12 by 18 inches with slab thickness and we have four bars at the bottom two at the top but at the distance of l by 4 you can see we have four bars at the at the bottom and four at the top because two are extra steel rods to resist negative bending moment this is the junction between beam and column at the middle you can see this is column size is 21 by 21 inches and we have here 12 number numbers of steel rods which dia is 16 millimeter you can see guys clearly on the other side if you see the spacing of stirrups are here 9 inches at the distance of after l by 4 but at the distance of l by 4 the spacing is 6 by 6 inches They used in two sections here. One is AA section after L by 4 where we have 6 bars but at the distance of L by 4 where we have the section AA where we have two extra steel rods at the middle to resist negative bending moment. Guys you can see the spacing of main bars and distribution bars are 9 by 6 inches. You can see the spacing. This is Sengli mesh. They provided 12 millimeter die of steel rod. On the top of this, they will provide the other mesh that is called doubly mesh. But you can see, guys, they already provided also concrete cover with the thickness of 25 millimeter. You can see the concrete blocks. If you are working on construction site, so these are some important technical terms which I am discussing you in every steel structure design practical video. As you can see, guys, they already provided the lapping. So this is not the place to provide lapping because we have positive bending moment at the distance of L by 2. At the distance of L by 4, we have negative bending moment. Both are the sections where we are not allowed to provide lapping length. Guys, you can see clearly here. And the plastic, the plastic uh, or you can say the tape is being placed on the joints between shuttering. You can see guys clearly. The dia is 8 mm for the stirrups and the dia is 16 mm for the longitudinal bars in this beam construction. You can see guys. That is a retaining wall which is 6 inch thickness and you can see the steel reinforcement which dia is 10 millimeter here okay guys thanks for watching see you in next video goodbye